Britain, France, Germany, Holland, Canada. All are sending warships to the South China Sea in growing pushback against Beijing. Britain's Defence Ministry says a multinational task force centred on its new 65,000-ton aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth will arrive in Southeast Asia between April and June. France sent one of its nuclear-powered attack submarines which passed through the South China Sea earlier this month. Now it's sending the 21,000-ton amphibious assault ship FS Tonnerre and a frigate through the disputed waters in coming weeks. And last month, the Royal Canadian Navy frigate Winnipeg passed through the contested Taiwan Strait to emphasize a free and open Indo-Pacific. Beijing doesn't want any of them in its backyard. By dispatching naval assets to the South China Sea, France, and the UK are contributing to the US anti-China stratagems, states the Beijing-controlled China Daily. It accuses the West of a crafty and neo-imperial scheme to support Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Indonesia, which could in turn provoke regional crisis. China has constructed a network of artificial island fortresses to impose an arbitrary claim over the entire South and East China Seas. It has authorized its Coast Guard to open fire on intruding vessels and unauthorized structures. It is not China that is responsible for the regional instability, but the US and its Quad allies, along with wannabe members such as France. They should focus on improving economic ties through trade and investment, not provoking problems between regional states, Chinese Communist Party media warns. French Armed Forces Minister Florence Parley announced earlier this month that the submarine FS Emeraud voyaged through the South China Sea to enrich our knowledge of this area, and affirmed that international law is the only rule that is valid, regardless of the sea where we sail. Beijing was incensed. The French military has no place in the South China Sea, state-controlled media declared, accusing Paris of a destabilizing act. It appears as though Paris is interested in expanding its destabilizing neo-imperial influence into Southeast Asia too, which can only end in disaster just like it has in large swaths of Africa. Nevertheless, a French amphibious ship and frigate departed Toulon for Southeast Asia last week. The FS Tunner's commanding officer told Naval News that he would work to strengthen France's partnership with the US, Japan, India, and Australia. Beijing has been increasing its military activities in the East and South China Seas in the past year. A near-constant chain of warship and aircraft maneuvers and live-fire weapons tests have signaled its determination to enforce domination over the contested waterways. Meanwhile, the Beijing-controlled South China Morning Post has again accused the U.S. of ratcheting up tensions in the region after the destroyer USS Curtis Wilbur sailed by on Wednesday. It quoted People's Liberation Eastern Theater Command staff as saying, Theater troops remain on high alert, and are ready to counter all threats and provocations at any time. Beijing's state-controlled media has taken aim at Britain's historic rivalry with France in a «wolf warrior» diplomatic jibe. France is engaged in «friendly» competition with the United Kingdom. Not wanting to feel left out, France might have mistakenly thought that it wise to join the growing militarization of this body of water, the China Daily asserts. Despite the chaos and bitterness surrounding Britain's Brexit separation from the European Union, the island nation has found a common cause with its cross-channel neighbors in the South China Sea. Britain, France and Holland all have colonial ties to the region. All maintain a degree of presence there. Britain remains part of the 1971 Five Power Defence Arrangement designed to support its former colony, Malaysia. Signatories include Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. Similarly, France maintains ties with its former colony Vietnam while managing its own Pacific territories such as Reunion Island.
and the Netherlands, which says it will send a warship to accompany HMS Queen Elizabeth, has emphasized that the United Nations Law of the Sea must form the basis of any dispute resolution. Meanwhile, Germany is planning to send a frigate to Japan as a sign of solidarity over its East China Sea dispute with Beijing. It's also expected to visit Australia and South Korea. We want to deepen our ties with our partners in the democratic camp, Germany's Secretary for Defense Thomas Silberhorn said.